McCormick has a short stick on him. I like this matchup. If you're Georgetown, they recognize it. Look for a quick slide from Villanova. Jimmy Wyatt on the ball. And there's that slide, giving a great opportunity and a goal. The play starts out of a 1-4-1 set, which creates a lot of space up top to set up the dodge by Georgetown's Charles McCormick. His defender, Villanova's Jimmy Wyatt, number 23, sets up with good inside position to keep McCormick from hitting topside and force him back to his left. McCormick is going to attack his topside foot to stop him from turning his hips until the last possible moment before he split dodges back to his left and down the alley. As McCormick split dodges, Villanova midfielder Mark Jackson, number 36, is going to slide the ball off of Georgetown's Bo Stafford, number 5 in white. Georgetown's going to run what is commonly referred to as Mumbo Pop. The pop happens when Roddy O'Connor, who's number 12, moves back toward the top of the box to be there if McCormick rolls back away from the slide. The mumbo part happens when Jeff Fountain, number 6, down picks onto Jackson, while Bo, while Bo Stafford cuts underneath the pick. The ex-attackman, number 44, Travis Como, is going to fill into the spot in the four-cross look that was vacated by Riley O'Connor's pop-up to the top of the box. This motion by the flat four across the crease makes it harder for Villanova to make their second and third slides and make sure everyone is accounted for. In this case, it may have played a part in the failure of the Villanova defense to have a second slide to go get over to cover Stafford. With Stafford cutting out to the right wing, Christopher Conroy, number 27, is probably the only Villanova defender that could realistically have slid to him. In order to do that, he would have to leave number 6, Fountain, on the crease. What Villanova needed, needed to do was play a 3-on-2 on the backside and send one of the three backside defenders over to Fountain on the crease. One option, which is probably the easiest way for them to do that, would have been for number 26, Chris Piccarilli, who was guarding Riley O'Connor on the crease before he popped up, to slide over to Fountain, and then have Jimmy Wyatt recover to pick up O'Connor up top. However, that's not what they do. Bo Stafford gets left all alone, and he's able to beat Villanova goalie Reed Carlson.